Hello everyone. So today I was uh, looking at my service desk and I received one interesting question. And this question is actually very common. A lot of people ask this question to uh, me and they also ask on the community. And the question was to sync two issues. Now this syncing feature is not really there in Jira natively. Uh, of course, when you have uh, two issues in Jira, you can do something uh, with those two issues. For example, uh, talking about Jira service management, maybe you want to raise uh, a request for your developers when the when the request was raised, maybe from the portal. So maybe your incident needs to be linked to your bug. And uh, when the developer or the development teams is doing anything, you may want to transfer some of the information. So talking about transferring the information between two issues, uh, you can do that. It could be bi-directional or it could be just in one direction. But I wanted to talk about uh, how to do it using uh, scripts, using a uh, script now for Jira. And uh, I'm going to uh, share a couple of examples of uh, scripts that I have basically shared in the past. I have videos, in fact, on these topics. So I thought I'll probably you know talk about uh, how to break down your requirements. So when you talk about uh, thinking to issues, uh, first of all, you have to figure out how these two issues are linked to each other. Now, the question that I received was that, let us say, you have one issue which is uh, created in one project, let us say project A, maybe the same issue or a cloned issue needs to be created in project B. So uh, the flow is that uh, issue one is created in project A and issue one's clone should be created in project B. And uh, when you create these two issues or when you create uh, the second issue automatically, I guess it is important to first uh, create the issue and then uh, link it. And based on the link, based on the issue link, you can then maybe do something with the linked issue. So the requirement, the question that I received was that when the linked issue or the cloned issue is transitioned, uh, the original issue should also be transitioned. So let us talk about how to do it. Now, the first thing that we are trying to do here is that we are trying to create the issue. I mean, someone will create the issue, right? And when you create an issue in Jira, we have uh, post functions. So using script now for Jira, you can actually write a scripted post function to create an issue. And uh, to create an issue, of course, you know, there are a lot of ways. I mean, I mean, talking about the script, but the bare minimum script is uh, this one where you have to specify. Uh, so, of course, you know, the, the way I work, the way I try to explain uh, and share my tutorials, videos, I try to keep things as simple as possible. But of course, uh, when you know how to do some simple things, then of course you can, you know, modify it and take it further. The The objective, my, my goal is to help you understand how it works. So the very first thing that you need to do is create a scripted post function. And by the way, let us talk about, about talk about all the concepts. So I'm talking about the scripted post function. So if you go to my mastering script now for Jira playlist and on this website, of course, just search for post function, right? And you will find a lot of examples on how to work with post functions. I'm talking about uh, creating an issue. You can, of course, search for create uh, an issue and you will find this video. So I'm going to essentially show you and share three scripts, but uh, if you want to know how to do it, uh, you can look at the video. But but of course, uh, the script is of course uh, very simple. You just need to configure it yourself. And uh, when you create an issue uh, in the linked uh, or maybe in a different project, while creating the issue, you can also link them together. And linking them together is uh, of course, again, not very uh, difficult. Let me just search if I have an example on my channel. So link, let us work with link and I'll probably uh, search for something. Uh, so, 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 so I think I, I do have a couple of examples where I have covered links, but uh, to, uh, to, to basically do something with those linked issues, you can then uh, look at this example where I have uh, shared how to transition the issue. So working with links is as simple as using uh, this get issue manager, get issue link manager and based on the direction that you're working on because when you when you're working with Jira issue links, you have a direction. Either it is inward 
inward link or outward link and based on the direction you can then do something with those links for example in this particular script what i'm trying to do here is i'm trying to comment on the linked issue so let us say a comment is added on the on, on issue 2 in project b maybe you want to add a similar comment in uh, issue 1 in project a now instead of commenting i mean here i am talking about how to uh, move from one issue to another issue but uh, using same concept you can have, you can also do something like transition of issues and transitioning of issues is, is of course uh, uh, it, it depends on the workflow it depends on what available transitions you have in that particular uh, target project but uh, once you figure it once you figure it out it is of course not really difficult you just need to make sure that when you're transitioning the issue uh, from one status to another status the target status or the transition uh, should be valid so this is something that you need to do and if you look at these three scripts it is again uh, going to give you enough uh, uh, information to basically put together your, your own script of course you have to write your own script i will try if i can you know spend uh, maybe a couple of hours to do it but uh, this is it this is what you need to do and uh, these are these are the building blocks and again if you want to do anything with the uh, script now for jira if you want to learn how to do it then uh, please uh, watch my videos and of course again it is a free course i mean imagine that you know you 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 are getting this knowledge this uh, you know this variety of things that you can do wonderful things that you can do with the jira using uh, script now for jira of course uh, which is a wonderful app my favorite app of course and everyone knows about it and uh, and this particular example is again uh, very common there are similar ways of uh, i mean there are other ways of doing it i mean you can use automation tools as well which is also something that i covered uh, in 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 my videos but uh, if you're talking about server and if you already have script now for jira then you basically need uh, a combination of these three scripts and uh, post functions i guess and that is it that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much and uh, by the way if you are uh, trying to also learn groovy now because we are talking about scripts and these scripts using uh, script runner for jira script runner for jira scripting needs to be done in groovy and uh, my recommendation is that don't spend too much time learning each and every aspect of groovy i mean of course you know when you talk about learning a new programming language there are so many things that you can do and uh, it is totally fine if you want to do it but uh, i guess uh, most of us are busy most of us are uh, are supposed to do a lot of other things in life because i also want to you know <laughs> watch netflix videos and uh, and uh, i want to of course enjoy at the same time but i want to focus on learning which is effective and which is also targeted so if you watch my mastering groovy playlist i was initially planning to cover a lot of things which i mean eventually i will but if you look at my uh, videos i mean i just have one two three four five six seven eight nine only nine videos and in my opinion and trust me on this because i do this as living i, th I don't really think you need to know everything about ruby you just need to know how to basically you know get started how to write hello world for example if you can uh, um, if you can uh, create a variable, if you know about different data types, if you know how to create a method, if you know how to work with list or maybe collection, I think that is all you need to get started. And I think once you get started, then there is no limit. There is no limit to uh, where you can take your uh, knowledge because starting is the most difficult, the difficult thing. And this is something that I have been trying to do. I have been trying to, of course, share the knowledge and uh, share uh, uh, whatever I can uh, share on my channel and the Mastering Groovy playlist or this particular video course I created this uh, with the intention to solve this problem where people uh, ask I want to use Scriptner but I don't really know how to write code which is totally fine but uh, I guess you have to if you want to do something I mean uh, I'm not really saying that uh, you need to be like super expert writing 
code. You don't need, really need to know each and everything about programming language, but as long as you can uh, write something, as long as you can code a little bit, I think that is uh, all you need. And you need to uh, you need to spend some time. I mean, I'm not really saying there is any shortcut. You have to spend some time in the beginning to get started. And this is what I'm trying to do. If you watch my videos, my videos are very simple and basic, but uh, my intention is to help you in the beginning uh, with the difficult part, which is again to take the first step. So this is something that, you know, you can always do if you want to, you know, start using script runner for Jira. And that is all. Thank you very much. Bye bye.